So we have a nice staticky TV there. And a map of Alcamilla Hospital. Well, this place looks familiar. But this is actually about as much of it as we're going to tour. Under construction. Currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing re uh, renovations. At this time, they're closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide to you, our valued patient, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips, Chairman of Alcamilla Board. Good to know they're looking out for us. And we have the devil post-it note here, this red triangle on the wall. That is our safe point. No howling red abyss this time. Just instantly, hey, here's the menu. So let's go ahead and save here. Call a refreshing pause for the moment. And save successful. So, back in a moment. All right, continuing on. Time to start exploring the hospital at large. Well, the exam room is locked. Door to the stairs is broken. Men's room is jammed. And the women's room is locked from the other side? Well, that's bloody inconvenient. Okay, that's broken. I can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. Locked. Something blocking it. But nice to know the hospital has an on-staff jazz combo at all times. Recent fundraising event, but nothing important. Jammed. And hijacked by cutscene. Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. But there's no one in reception. Well, you were certainly helpful. And pretty familiar, too, overall. Alright, so there was one door we didn't get to check because of cutscene, and it's locked from the other side. So that just leaves one option. You're not getting away from us that easily. And we have a dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? Well, the basement's out of order. No going to the third floor, either. Our choices are limited. Second floor it is. Already things are a bit dark here. You can turn the flashlight on and off. In this particular game, having the flashlight off does seem to help more often than not. But, just for the purposes of the LP, I'll be keeping it on. I'm already kind of worried enough about the visibility here, as is. Yes? You okay? I don't think she's okay, Travis.
So Travis Grady subscribes to the Dead Rising theory of survival horror. Anything and everything can be a weapon. Good man. Notice the plus down there. That marks the weapon's durability. Weapons do have limited durability in this game, but you're constantly finding more everywhere you go, so it's not too terribly bad. And there we go. For all the world, that looks like something there on the bench, but he's not interested. 206, no getting in there. And just a bunch of junk in the way, so no going this way either. So, in we go. A bunch of medical pamphlets. Tropical diseases, baby vitamins, flu shots, that kind of stuff. The gurney is stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. A medicine cabinet, full of drugs I don't recognize. Sadly, as much as it might look like a bunch of health drinks, not a one to be had. Medical charts. They mean nothing to me. All right, Travis, read the third line from the top. That is some serious coffee stainage there. Preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns. Patient is unconscious. Something that has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? There's something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. But there's nothing else really to do in here, so let's just get out of here and... Hijack by cutscene. Hey, how'd you get in there? You're the girl from the fire. How did you... So, we have the major gimmick of Silent Hill Origins. To a limited degree, you control the shifts between the fog world and the other world. By examining mirrors positioned around the world, you'll go back and forth between the two versions. And we have a scalpel. A little box here marked Breathe. And it contains plastic lungs. Never know when those could come in handy, I guess. But here in the other world, the medicine cabinet does have a health drink. This place is friendlier already. If you look at the map, mirrors are marked as a little square with a squiggle on the inside. Good to know he thinks they're important enough to keep track of. Alright, hammer at the ready. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd have someone out here. Oh, my hammer broke. You don't actually have to go into the menu to switch weapons. You can hit left or right on the control pad to do so. So we're equipped with the scalpel now. Okay. Given just how many things there are to find in this game, you definitely want to explore. No reason not to. There's no limit to what old Travis can hold in that hyperspace trucker jacket of his, so take advantage of it. Find anything and everything. Alright, that leads down to the stairs. I don't quite want to go there just yet. Okay, I just have these three doors to deal with. And 
we get a golden egg? Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not. Blah, 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 blah. I've used the blah to contain her power. No one will come to her aid. Blah, 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 blah. One of the five blah. Hide them, protect them, blah. Good to know. Don't think there's anything else of interest in here. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, but we have another little friend. So, time to work on demonstrating the scalpel. And also the fact that there are a lot of quick time events that enemies will put you through. In the case of the nurse, she'll try to stab you with a syringe, so you have to be ready to mash X to get away. The scalpel is just a quick stabbing type weapon. It gets the job done. Let's see. And we get a portable TV. That's another class of melee weapons, throwable items. Let's see, what's the durability doing on there? It's a yellow. All right. And obviously, throwing items, they're one use, so they don't have a durability mark. This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump so are the key. Age before beauty. Checking out the medical ice box. We have a keypad, but we do not currently know the combination. We also find a drip stand. The ridiculousness of being able to switch items without going to a menu. Where'd that come from? We'll save it for now, though. Anybody else? Doesn't seem to be. All right. With that, time to head downstairs. Oh, there's an energy drink there. Energy drinks do not replenish your health. However, they do refill your stamina. Kind of limited in their usefulness that way, but... You know, in a pinch, they're there. There's a death mask on the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even the blind have need of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. Well, nothing we can do about that just yet. Get off, get off, get off. Fisticuffs! We have an alcohol bottle, another throwable. Okay, that's blocked. That's broken. There's an oval depression in the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno, from out of the flames I saw life born anew. An oval depression, you say? And so we've used the golden egg. Surprise, it's a key! So yes, we can open the cistern on the toilet here and we find a plastic liver. Wonderful. Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. But the other one you just instantly knew something was up, apparently. And we have another mirror.